We're doing recipes around the world again. And today, today we're doing, okay, I'm gonna try to pronounce this, Brigadeiro from Brazil. And I'm actually very excited for this one because one, I actually got a request from TikTok to do this. And then two, my sister-in-law is actually from Brazil. I think she's been wanting to literally make this exact recipe. I'm gonna have to ask her how correct this is and I'll keep you updated. <laughs> yeah, it's really easy, literally. Come here. All you're gonna need is some sweet and milk, some cocoa powder, some little Jimmy sprinkles, and then a little bit of butter. It is the easiest recipe, but apparently, like my sister-in-law says, she said, it's amazing. And they just used to eat it all the time. So let's just get right into making it. Okay, so first, I need to pull up my phone. Okay, first, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little concerned about this, <laughs> this recipe that I chose. You're like, Stephanie, why didn't you ask your sister-in-law? She's a busy woman. I don't want to get in her way. And also, like, I need to record it now. That's a whole separate thing because I'm trying to do good in school. You know what I mean? College student problem. But, so I got this recipe from Tasty. And I feel like if you cook, you know Tasty. And we love her, but we also can hate her sometimes because sometimes the recipes are a little sus. But I'm trusting it. Also, we're doing the classic one, by the way. So just the regular chocolate. Apparently, there's other flavors is what I found out. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna ask my sister-in-law all these questions. You guys will know all the answers. Oh my God. So first step number one, in a pot over low heat, you're gonna melt the butter, condensed milk, and cocoa powder. So let's start measuring stuff out. Turn this on. Oh, it says low heat. I'm assuming because we don't want it to burn, that would be sad. It would be really sad. Okay, so I think that's like a tablespoon actually. I'm gonna take, I actually have, okay, someone tell me, I don't know, is this condensed milk better? I'm not, I don't know for sure not. Um, I think my mom bought it for something. Or is it the same? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Also this, look at this can opener. Look, so you think like, oh my God, Stephanie, you're not even doing it. Just wait, just wait. So look, take your little pinchers. It takes the whole thing off. So you don't have to worry about, you know, like cutting yourself <laughs> from the jagged edges. And I just like, like it. We want all that goodness. They need a fork, get out of here. I like thought I was organized and ready to go. I, I wasn't. Okay, so they need a fourth of a cup of cocoa powder. Has anyone ever tasted what this is like by itself? It's bitter. Oh, oh my God. Dude, I swear, I always make a mess. I'm spilling all over the place. Look at that. Obviously I, I, ha I have to let it dissolve more. Maybe stirring this. I feel like it's burning. And I feel like I shouldn't be using this metal spoon. But here I am doing all of these things. Okay, anyway, you're going to cook it. There's no time frame, which I, which I get, okay, I get why they do that because obviously like everything, there's so many factors that you can't really say a time sometimes. But apparently you're gonna cook this on low until you can pull your spoon back. Like it only, right now it's only doing like, I think until it gets thick. Like I think that's the idea. So I think it's like continuously. Oh, I have my phone. I'm acting like I can't look it up and I'm trying to like use my memory that is average, you know? It's, it's not great, it's okay. Okay, yeah, continuously, start continuously until you see the bottom of the pot for two to three seconds when dragging a spatula through. Yeah, so far one, one. One. Yeah. So far we're only at one second. And then after that, you just pour into a greased plate. This is the most vague thing. What kind of plate? Does it matter what plate? I, I mean, I'm assuming it doesn't because after that you, you let chill for an hour and then you just shape them into the balls and then roll them in the jimmies. Which by the way, okay. If you like are somebody who You'll pick Jimmy's sprinkles. I just wanna know why, okay? Cause first of all, first of all, I feel like, I mean, I personally do not like sprinkles as a topping, but especially Jimmy's, even though I like chocolate, I don't know. Those are like weird. I mean, I think in this they'll be fine, but I don't know. Oh my God, I have a mess here. And there's also just like some dried cilantro it looks like. Parsley, I don't even know. Have it. I don't need it, so I'm just gonna boop. It looks like a little clumpy, but I mean, I mix it together. It smells really good though, but that's just because I love chocolate. I love chocolate. Something about me is chocolate. Like, I would say I have a sweet tooth, but I think really, honestly, I have a chocolate tooth because I just think 
I don't know, every time I eat chocolate, it's just, it's so good. I used to be a milk chocolate girl, and then I was like, wait a minute, dark chocolate's pretty lead. Also, if somebody else like has made this recipe, knows about it, tell me if this recipe is accurate. Like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my sources, you get your sources, and we'll compare sources. Look at us doing research. I mean, how long does this have to cook for? I was kind of hoping this was gonna be like, oh, two, two, two. I see angel numbers all the time. That's a separate topic for another day but you know i'll just see you when this is done this is taking forever which is fine because like you can't rush beauty or perfection like you can't rush that stuff so i'll just see you when it's getting ready to be poured in a plate Okay, I started putting it on the plate now because I'm nervous it's gonna overcook. So then you're gonna freeze this for an hour, so. One hour later. Okay, so here it is. <laughs> it's kind of like tacky feeling actually, that's surprising. Okay, from this point, you're going to roll into ball. I'm gonna use a little scoop here so it's just like as even as possible. And then I'll get a tiny plate. Full of the jimmies. So I can just immediately roll them in there. So let's see, ooh. Ooh, I probably should like flour in my hands, but guess what? Not gonna do that. Oh, Stephanie, how do they do this? There's just some straight cocoa powder in that one. Ooh, how do they make them look so pretty? Am I doing something wrong? Did I do something? I don't, I don't think so. Okay. I mean, it's it's truffle. Oh god! Maybe I'll just start grabbing. Oh my god! Do they flower their hands, baby? Oh my god! I meant to ask my sister-in-law, and I forgot. And I can't. I can't. I don't think I can call her. I think she's at work. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go with my gut here. And I'm gonna flower my hands. I mean, I guess it's like I'm assuming the jimmies give it some volume. So I don't wanna like see the flower, but I just need enough to where my hands aren't gonna be like super sticky. They're still gonna be super sticky. I'm definitely doing something wrong here and I, I can't quite figure out what that is. I let it chill for the hour. I did, I let it chill for the hour. Maybe there's just like no way of getting around it. I kind of see now why you need a lot of jimmies because I think that's kind of what forms it. I don't like that this isn't working. I think the flower didn't work. You were useless. Guys, I don't think there's anything I can do. So maybe, okay, maybe this is the move. So I'm gonna like scoop them out, right? And kind of just leave them off to the side of the plate. Then I'll come back when they're all balled up and roll them in the jimmies. I wonder if I didn't cook it long enough, but I feel like it still would have been sticky because sweetened can, it, just sweetened condensed milk is sticky, right? You guys let me know too. Here, I'll FaceTime my brother. It's still like a rough, you know, area. Hey, what's up? What are you, are you at work? Yeah. Why'd you answer the phone? <laughs> Why? Well, what's up? Well, cause I was hoping you were at home because, so I'm making like this, the Brazilian dessert, like the Brigadeiro, I think I'm saying it yeah. wrong. And I, I don't know if like I'm missing a step, but look how like sticky it is. It's, it, it's exactly like that. Yeah, it's very it is? sticky. Okay. Then maybe I am doing it right. Okay. Uh, you want to get like a bowl of sprinkles? Yeah. And Throw it into the bowl and then just, you know, whatever. Yeah, I mean, it looks like you're doing a good job. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. My brother, like, was talking a lot. We haven't talked in a while, so I finished them. They look good. I put them back in the fridge, actually, while I was on the phone, and I think they're good. He said it was correct, though. He did say they're supposed to be really sticky, so I was doing it correctly. So now, taste test. Oh my god. Brazil, you're onto something here. This is amazing. It's just creamy, chocolatey. I don't mind the jimmies. Or chocolate sprinkles, right wrong calm. That's all I got for you today. Thanks so much for watching, sticking around. Like, hit that like, subscribe button. I don't know what I was just doing with my hands. You know the drill. Comment down below anything you want to see me do in the future. Maybe another recipe around the world. Maybe something completely different. I have an interesting one in store next week, so I'll see you then. If anybody tries these, let me know. They're really good. Thank you, Brazil, and thank you for watching. So see you next week.